Good morning, guys. So I wanted to share with you uh, what looks like, it looks like my calendar is pointing to this upcoming week. So I wanted to show you that we have, as we talked about in the last video, we have the sun, which is our big green light. The sun tends to give off more of a greenish hue on the color light spectrum. Um, and we have Jupiter in the center, which the big red spot, I think it's called the great red spot, which is a storm that's on Jupiter. Um, th so this would be the sun conjunct Jupiter, which happens on May 18th. Then, uh, very shortly thereafter, two days later, the sun will pass into Gemini, the twins. The sun will pass into Gemini, the twins. And of course, we've talked about these being twins, sons of thunder, um, many, many things. Um, Zara and, don't tell me, Perez and Jacob and Esau, um, all the twins in the Bible, we've talked about them. So two days after the conjunction with Jupiter, the sun passes into Gemini. Then shortly thereafter, Venus. So this five-pointed star, which means Pentecost, is Venus, Aphrodite, Esther, Venus, Astraea, and Virgo. Okay, Venus is right on the heels of all of this and follows the sun a couple of days later into Gemini. So she is also going to be conjunct with Jupiter. Then she's going to move into Gemini. Then a couple of days after Venus enters Jupiter, uh, enters Gemini, Jupiter is going to enter Gemini. So all three of these at this exact moment are in this exact upcoming week are entering into Gemini together. So I think this is a huge indication of what I have going on in my calendar. It looks like the stars are aligning to me. So let me show you. So this is the chart the for the upcoming weeks 10 days um on the 18th the sun is the first column the 27th and um i'm sorry 18th and 19th the sun is at the 27th passing to the 28th degree jupiter is over here in the second to last column on the 18th and 19th at the 28th degree of taurus along with the sun, they're going to be conjunct. Then shortly thereafter, Venus, right here, this is Venus, which we have at the bottom of the calendar, which means Pentecost. She is going to be coming through on the 22nd and 23rd, and she is going to conjunct Jupiter, right here it looks like on the 23rd, and pass into Gemini. Jupiter is on the cusp of changing signs. He's been in Taurus for probably close to a year. And then he will follow suit and pass into Gemini, the twins also, the 25th and 26th. So then we have Monday, the 27th right here. They're all in uh, Gemini together. And this is Memorial Day on our calendar. Again, to kick off this entire time period on 518 only, I checked for several days um, on 518 only, this kite uh, figure configuration is in the zodiac. Kite was important to us. It was a kite is a bird of prey. It's a raptor. And it is also supposed to be a four corners score for us, a win. Um, the four corners has many representations. It's the cross. It's also your point of departure, which means partum, which means giving birth. Okay. Pentecost has the same type of 
um, symbolism because Pentecost would be a refreshing of the spirit, you know, born again type thing. Okay. Again, on this calendar, um, the current timeline is just past these purple down at the bottom here, the purple strip um, that's horizontal, the purple row. Um, that's our current timeline. So when it meets the other purple columns, um, it's the 18th and 19th. And that's interesting because it is the crossroads, which again is the four corners. It's Pentecost, which is the Venus star, five-pointed star. And we have this indication here, which you probably can't see. Um, after this time period, after the 18th and 19th, we have the word, I'm highlighting the word ascend, and it comes after our current weekend here, the 18th and 19th of May. So this week um, probably signifies some significant changes. Okay. Here is a picture of what is going on in the sky. So we have Venus, we have Uranus, we have the sun, and we have Jupiter in um, the constellation of Taurus. Now my big green calendar is the bull's eye. The bull's eye could be Aldebaran, which is down here right? But we have learned that the bull's eye is the heart of the bull. You wanted to put the stake, which is like the wooden cross, the stake into the heart of the bull because that is what kills the beast or kills the vampire. So the heart of the bull is the bull's eye that we've been looking at. Um, I'm on the 16th. It's early in the morning here. And the sun is conjunct Jupiter right there on the 18th and passes right its closest point to the Pleiades here. Okay, this is moving to the 25th and everything going on in my calendar is represented here. So let's go back to the 18th, which is I think the kickoff of this an important seven or 10 day period here, okay? Um, the 16th today, the sun close to the Pleiades, 17th, 18th, coming to conjunct Jupiter, and then passing into Gemini right here. So Western tropical astrology, um, the sun passes into Gemini on the 20th very close to the heart of the bull, which is the bull's eye. Then, of course, we have a picture of the Pleiades. Um, here we can see Taurus, the heart of the bull, and the bull's eye. Um, this is a very significant picture because <laughs> I was given a name um, that represents this picture right here. Um, this is our necklace, which to me is kind of our metal um, if we were in a competition, okay? So the Pleiades looks, if you spell it out in symbols, the Pleiades would look like this necklace, okay? Okay, so a very significant time period. I think a l many, many, many of my pictures um, are coming to life right now and this coming week. So we'll see how this all plays out. I think I've covered everything. Maybe stay tuned because I might come back with one more thing. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video.